Hello, everybody. It's the Daily Moogle, and I am back with Star Tropics Episode 3. So, when we left off, there was a storm, and our submarine crashed into some rocks. So it's kind of floating up and down over there, just bobbing in the water. And we gotta walk. So, I don't know, hopefully we can figure out how to repair our submarine, I guess. Let's check out this hut. You look tired. Here, drink some coconut milk. So yeah, you drink this milk and it actually refills your, uh, your life gauge. You drink it and feel much better. Go to Miracola and help someone... help find... Jesus. <laughs> find help for your wrecked ship. Um, I can't read right now. But yeah, anyway. I've never felt that refreshed after coconut milk. Um, I don't really like the flavor of coconut, so... <laughs> I think that would have the opposite effect on me in real life. So, Miracola is somewhere on this island, I guess, and maybe we can find someone there to help us repair our submarine, but until then, it looks like we gotta go through another dungeon. Alright. Oh, and by the way, I got my gamepad hooked up, so I'm not actually using the keyboard this time, so <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying that's gonna help me actually do better, but, uh... I guess we'll find out. So these birds are kind of annoying. They they actually follow you. Yeah, and they take two hits with your yo-yo. There's a couple more in this room. Come here. Ah. Hate you guys. Okay, maybe they don't chase you. Maybe they run away from you. <laughs> there we go. So you gotta kill them to open the door, but then you don't want to miss this. These, like, nunchuck things. Um, those are helpful in the next couple of rooms. Because I hate these monkey guys. They just will not stand still. They're so annoying. Ugh. Gotcha, and gotcha. Alright, I'm trying to be careful. Because <laughs> I did have to practice this dungeon a couple times, and, like, I, I kept dying over and over. It was really bad. So, yeah, they just, they will not sit still. Another thing about this dungeon, too, they really, uh, they really kick up the difficulty, because, um, enemies now, when you get hit, they'll start taking away an entire heart of your life. And there's a couple enemies coming up that actually take away a heart and a half. And they take, like, I don't know, like six or more kills, or, uh, hits with your yo-yo in order to kill. Alright. Take out the snakes. Um, there's nothing on those... the rest of those platforms. There's no switches or nothing, so I'm gonna skip those. This one is interesting, because you gotta, like, time your jumps right. Um, if you have taken some hits, you can get four extra hearts there, so... that's helpful. Alright, and yeah, these are the... the enemies I was talking about, these ostrich things. You want to use the nunchucks to, like, you know, try to keep some distance between you and them. Because you see how many hits they take, and if, if they hit you, it's a heart and a half, so it's a pretty big penalty for getting hit. Alright, this next room is going to be dark, so you just want to, like, as soon as you walk in, try and track where this pillar or this uh, platform is, because it turns the lights back on. So it's basically, like, two steps to the left and then jump up. Alright, take you out. Um, so... <laughs> you don't want to go to the left. Um... Well, I mean, I guess I can show you. It's not like I'm gonna get locked down out here, but... Yeah, if you go through that staircase, you actually wind up, uh, back outside on the map. Uh, except that you're on the wrong side, still. <laughs> so, it's a trick. You actually end up having to go start from the beginning of this dungeon again. So you don't want to do that. Let's go back. Ah, the lights go back off. I forgot about that. Alright, we should be able to figure this out here. Um, so, from the side again, it was left, left, and jump up. There we go. So, notice killing all the bats doesn't do anything. Um, yeah, there's a switch there that opens the door for us. And you really gotta watch the spacing here, too, because you can accidentally jump in the water pretty easily. So... 
then this is the exit already. There's actually no boss. So, yeah, as long as you don't fall for that trick where you end up back at the start again, it's not too bad. Alright, we got the meaningless points again. Alright, so here's a village. And uh, maybe this is Miracola. Let's see, let's talk to this fat guy. Yeah, Miracola. Alright. So yeah, like I said uh, before, all of the towns end in Cola. So it was Coral Cola and now Miracola. I'm a brave sailor too, can I go with you? You almost died at sea? Uh... <laughs> yeah, never mind. Way to go, buddy. Let's talk to her. Where do you come from, a Miracola? Yeah, so there's a person in the first town that asked us that same question. So, a little repeat dialogue there. I'm so worried. Bananette. It's like banana, except Bananette, I guess, has been sick for so long. So yeah, there's somebody in the town by that name that is very sick. I'm Miss Mira 1990. You met Miss Coral? So yeah, this is the other like theme that I mentioned in the first video. Which of us is best? <laughs> it's like so much pressure. Uh, but you gotta say Mira because that's who you're talking to. You're so honest and cute too. Thanks. If you say the other one, she just kind of like says something mean or like it doesn't. It doesn't matter what you say, but. Our chief loves his daughter very much, but alas, she is very sick. Okay, so of course it's like the chief's daughter who's sick. It's always somebody important. If it was one of the other town people, like, nobody would even care. It's gotta be somebody important for people to care. Alright, here's some more coconut milk. But yeah, my heart's already full, so I don't really need that. Alright, so, uh, I guess I'll go over here first talk to this guy. Do you know about the castle of Shikola? Better not go there. That's a little foreshadowing. That's uh, an area that we're going to get to a little bit later in this chapter. So I'm going to walk all the way up here and talk to this guy just to show you what he says. He actually blocks our path. Yeah, he just doesn't say anything. So it's, it's the same thing as the first uh, town again where he basically doesn't know who we are or something, so he doesn't want to let us through. But, yeah, basically, that's that's ultimately where we gotta go next. Here's another guy blocking our path. So he says, Me you may enter. But he's another guy that, um, if I didn't talk to everybody before I got here, he would turn me away. So that's, you know, you, you kind of want to talk to everybody anyway in any RPG. Because you get valuable information and all that crap. But in this game, you kind of have to do it, so... Anyway, here's the chief. I'm just hanging out. <laughs> the chief's over there. I'm just kind of like randomly here doing nothing. So, what? I mean, he's just staring at the wall. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Let's go talk to the chief. I'm Chief Miracola. Mike, I've heard of your courageous adventure. Oh, really? Please, can you help me? One year ago, many shooting stars appeared in the sky, and suddenly dreadful lightning flashed. Since that night, my dear Bananette has slept, and she will not awake. Please help my daughter, she is upstairs. Some say a mountain hermit lives who has healing spells. You must find him, please help my daughter. Oh, and look at that, he'll fix our ship. Thus, our next objective is revealed. So to get upstairs, for some reason it's a totally separate, like, hidden entrance of the place. <laughs> that staircase is where we actually gotta go. So yeah, you can kinda see up there in the upper left corner where we gotta go. So, we're just gonna... Oh yeah, I forgot we can't go this way because the stupid tree is... <sighs> I don't know why we can't walk right by that tree, but whatever. So we're just gonna trek all the way back around. So yeah, not much else to say at this point. <laughs> so yeah, it, it turns out that the daughter is sick, and basically we, we do have to find a hermit later in this chapter who's going to help us out. Sick in bed. Oh, you're Mike. Yep, okay, so here's the chief's wife, I think. And then, yeah, obviously the sick person is in the bed there, sleeping. So, after we do that, 
we can actually go all the way back over to uh, the guy all the way on the right that I went to, and now he'll understand that uh, we're here to help, and he'll let us through, I guess. Music is pretty catchy, sorry about that. So let's see what this guy says. Good luck! Yep, so... He <laughs> like, he doesn't say anything, and then he just says good luck. So, it's quite the charmer there. Alright, so now we come out on the other side of the town. Um, once we do get our ship fixed, it'll actually be docked here for us. So this is where we're actually going to finish the chapters. Right here. But, uh, that's a little bit later down the road. We actually have a little bit more to go. This chapter is quite long, especially compared to the other two. So let's go ahead and hop in this dungeon. Alright. So we'll see how we do here. Um. <laughs> God, I freaking hate this part. Um, I'm just gonna run for it. I mean, you take a hit, but whatever. You don't actually have to kill him, so just <laughs> make a run for it. Alright, these guys suck, and we don't have any nunchucks this time, so you just gotta... God. Damn it, just... Get away from me. <laughs> you just gotta do your best. Alright. Unfortunately, we can't just run past those guys. Yep. The lights are off again. Now, up here, you gotta taunt the snakes over, and then you'll actually be able to tell which platform you can jump to, because they'll run all the way to the end. So you can tell it's actually this one. Now, you wanna deke these guys out. And then... Uh, try to take him out. There you go. Then you gotta do the same thing with that guy. Um, shoot, I think he went up. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> I was worried I was gonna mess that up. So we got the lights back on. We got a bat, and we got a slingshot. Um, we can jump down here, and we'll get a medicine thing. I think. I mean, it's got the music, but as we know, that doesn't really mean anything. Yeah, it's another medicine thing. Alright, that's good. I might even want to drink that right now. Um, I guess I'll get to the next room and just kind of see what's in there before I decide, though. If it's more of those big bird guys that take a heart and a half, I'm probably going to drink it. Um, yeah, well, I'm going to drink it anyway, just to be safe. Why not? Okay, these guys will randomly take off diagonally. Ah, yeah, just like that. Yeah, I don't think we have to kill them, we just gotta hit the switch. Yeah, so I might just... I might just run right past these guys. Screw those guys. Alright, this one you gotta time a little bit more carefully than the other one. Oh boy. Cool. Alright. Uh, so this is where the level gets a little more difficult. Um, we're gonna go down a few flights of stairs here. And apparently we're in, like, a volcano all of a sudden, because there's lava. And we get the scary almost boss time music again, but we've got quite a bit to go before we're anywhere near the boss. That sign up there, I'll grab that. That's actually an extra life. Oop. Almost got hit there. One of these things is a switch. <laughs> it's always the last one I try, obviously. It's kind of how it always works, isn't it? There we go. Okay, now we gotta kill these guys to get to the next room, but... Um, this clock will actually... It'll do one of two things. Yeah, it'll either, it'll either totally freeze them like that, which is better, or it'll just slow them down. And it's just random. It doesn't... There's really no way to know what it's gonna do until you pick it up. Just gotta get lucky. You don't have to kill that guy. Just keep going. Not even gonna bother. Again, you don't even have to kill him here. Um, I am gonna run over here and grab the extra nunchucks, because they're, they're gonna come in handy. Yeah, you can see you can jump right over that guy when he's right in front of you, so... There's a couple of hearts over there if you want them, but... Luckily, my, my life is still full somehow. I don't know how I pulled that off so far. Alright. 
Another one where you gotta time it pretty carefully. I don't think there's anything. Yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead. And I think the boss is coming up soon. I didn't actually practice this far, so I'm hoping I'm not gonna die at the boss, but... <laughs> I mean, I guess we'll see how it goes. So yeah, I don't, I don't have any magic items. I am gonna switch to the nunchucks, because I think... Yep, okay, here's the boss, just like I figured. So, uh, shit, man. I think what you gotta do is actually... Oops, trying to hit select. I think what you gotta do is actually jump up here and hit the... Yeah, there's a couple of switches. Shoot. Yep, I figured that was gonna happen. That's alright, it happens. I mean, I have to show off what happens when you die, right? I mean, that's all I was trying to do there. <laughs> that's my excuse, anyway. Alright, yeah, so there you can see it just slows him down. It slows him down quite a bit, but... Ah, it doesn't last very long, either. Yeah, and the problem with, with dying, too... Your, your heart is only three full. I only have three hearts. God, that was a weird way of saying that. And you gotta go through these areas again and try not to get hit. This game is pretty tough sometimes, man. So in this case, I am gonna go to the left and pick up those two extra hearts. There we go. And then, yeah. Just run right back. Right. And yeah, forget forget the nunchucks. I don't know why I was thinking they would actually be helpful at the boss. But all you gotta do to kill the boss is hit, um... You know, I hit the one switch on the left side. There's another switch just like that on the right side that... All you gotta do is jump around and try not to die. If you hit those two switches, you'll beat the boss. So... I'm gonna try and actually get it right this time. Nope. It's alright, I can take a couple hits. Um, shoot. I guess I don't know where the other thing is. That's gonna be a problem. I'm probably gonna die before I figure it out. Ugh, Jesus. Where is it? Which one didn't I hop on yet? Well... I'm guessing it's probably one of the ones right in front of them. Sorry about this, guys. I mean, that's what I get for not practicing this far. But, uh... That's nice, I got a heart from that try to get it right this time, and if I die again, I'll just probably save this part for the next video so I can practice a little bit more. I don't know, hopefully this is just, this is just as entertaining watching me die as it is learning about the game. Alright, I gotta get those two hearts. I definitely need as much as I can get. Almost there, almost there. It's a good thing there's at least a part where you can continue from, like, partway through. I mean, in some levels, you just start all the way from the beginning again. It's a pain in the ass. Okay, so I figure what I'm gonna do... Maybe go for the one that I know where it is first. it is. And we got him. <laughs> Third time's the charm. So yeah, he's like a fire guy, and then he just falls in the water. You gotta wonder why he was just sitting on a bridge, though. Like, 
There's water in here, but there was lava in the previous room, so why wouldn't he, like, live in where the lava is and not on a freaking bridge that has self-destruct buttons? But anyway. Alright, we got the happy victory music. So now we're gonna go back up the stairs a few levels. Yep, yep, yep. And... Up here... And yeah, as soon as you start seeing these, like this staircase, I guess this is supposed to be a staircase. As soon as you see that, you know you're pretty much golden. Thank god we're done with that place, man. And the worthless points, yay! Okay guys, so I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Um, I'm gonna have to split up chapter 3, because like I said, it's quite long. And in the next episode, we're going to check out this castle over here and uh, see where we got to go to find this hermit so we can help the chief's daughter get better and he'll fix our ship. Alright, this is the Daily Moogle. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.